When we tried the Tag Heuer Carrera Connected Modular 45, we found the watch, which you can see here, to be quite large. The lugs hung over the edge of our wrist, it's really quite thick, and although genuinely it's a Swiss made smartwatch, we found it ungainly for everyday wear. Since then, Tag Heuer has made this. It's the Connected 41, Connected Modular 41, sorry. And as the name suggests, it's a smaller face. We've got a 41 millimeter face and a 1.2 inch screen compared to here, the 45 millimeter body and a 1.4 inch screen. So it's a considerably smaller watch. And even here you can see, although it does look it, it fits supremely well. When I put on the connected modular 45, the lugs were here, I couldn't see the strap. It didn't look quite right. And although my wrists aren't enormous, I like big watches. That was, it didn't look right on my wrist. This fits perfectly. It's a perfect size. What do you think you're giving up? Uh, actually, you're not giving up anything. You're actually gaining, if anything. For a start, we've got a ceramic bezel around here. Again, sapphire crystal over the screen. So it's extremely scratch resistant, not just on the bezel, but on the screen itself. The screen has got a slightly lower resolution. It's 390 by 390. But because it's smaller, the pixel density is higher. So it looks sharper and gives you a better daylight visibility too. We really like that. Have a look here where it says Swiss made underneath. Tag Heuer takes great pride in reminding us that this is a proper Swiss made smartwatch. It's not just cobbled together. They're not all based off of one existing design. They've thought about this. And if you're after a Swiss watch that's also connected, pretty much this is your choice if you want a touch screen, really beautifully made. Inside is again an Intel platform. It has a gigabyte of RAM compared to the 512 gigabyte megabytes on the original watch. There's more storage too. You get eight gigabytes of memory, but only two are taken up by the operating systems. So there's six gigabytes to use from your, your music and things like that. Another benefit that we think not everyone will agree is that on the Connected 45, you had Tag Heuer's very familiar um, crossover strap here. It's big, it's bulky, yes it's Tag Heuer, but it's quite annoying. On the 41 you get a much more traditional, a much sleeker clasp and buckle. We really like that. Not only is it easier to use every day, but it's suitable for everybody. Unlike having to change the strap and cut it down or do all sorts of things with this. As you can see here, there's a variety of different strap options. This, although it's called red, is actually pretty orange, but it's in a very flexible silicon rubber. Very nice indeed. You've also got a couple of metal options, and these are very light, very comfortable. We love this version here. It looks fantastic. There's also the choice, as you saw with the orange strap model, to have either the polished black or the polished stainless steel version here, ceramic steel, but a different look. Finally, there's this one, which is leather here and rubber on the inside. Very attractive indeed. While the watch is off, there's a reason it's called modular, and that's because everything comes apart. You push this button, pull the lugs down towards you, and you can change straps very easily. But because Tag Heuer thinks about the connected status of this watch and the fact that it's not gonna last forever, you can buy one of these. It's a Carrera watch body. And if you take your strap and lugs off of the connected version, you can just clip them back on to the Carrera watch face here. Incredibly simple, I mean, anybody can do this. And all of a sudden, you've got a regular mechanical Carrera watch. That's a significant benefit because these, they're not going to last forever. There's a battery inside, remember. This is going to last you forever. 
and because it's a smaller watch we actually prefer the look when we swap the face on the body on here it was still enormous this is much more sensibly sized we really like it there's another bonus this is cheaper than the 45. This starts at £1,000 or about $1,200 and goes up from there depending on the strap option and the bezel and everything like that. But if you just want a connected watch that's Tag Heuer, Swiss made, remember, you can buy one of those for $1,000. Not cheap, but considering what you can do, change over the body in the future, buy this separate um, mechanical face, we don't think that's too bad at all. And you're getting one that in our opinion looks superb. Android Wear or Wear OS as it is now, it's the same. You're not going to get any different on here than you are on any other connected watch. A TicWatch E for example is going to cost you $160 and it's going to perform in almost an identical fashion. However, this is classy and we could wear it with absolutely everything. And if they'll let me, I'll walk out of the place where I am now, looking at it with it still on my wrist. It's really superb. Tag Heuer may just have created the most desirable, the most wearable Wear OS smartwatch that we've seen yet. And it's cheaper than the, way, the one they had before. What more could you ask for? Well, you could probably ask for a lot, but in our opinion, this at the moment is the luxury Wear OS smartwatch to buy.